Good morning, everyone. Well, with the area of high pressure over us weakening just a little bit, it's leaving us an opportunity for some rain to creep in here. Not going to be a wet day by any means. In fact, more of us are probably going to stay dry in the region than sea rain, but got to mention the chance. However, early this morning, just mostly sunny skies, no rain to be found. But as early as about one o'clock this afternoon, first off, notice the cloud cover increasing. So for most of us, partly to in some spots, mostly cloudy skies. And as early as one o'clock, a couple of showers could begin to pop up. Now with more cloud cover around day and some rain around, that's going to help hold down temperatures. A lot of us were getting into the upper 80s yesterday. Today, though, it looks like most of us are only going to top out in the low 80s. And there'll be a light breeze, gusts around 15 miles per hour, no real strong wind. Uh, now the peak of the shower and possibly thunderstorm activity. I do think it's mostly going to be showers, but a couple of thunderstorms could pop up. And the peak is going to be during the late afternoon, you know, probably four or five o'clock. So yes, for the homebound commute, unlike the morning commute, there is a chance of rain, but notice there are significant gaps. We are talking about isolated shower and storms. So I will say it's more likely that you're going to drive home without encountering a shower with a thunderstorm, but got to mention it as a chance. They, they will be out there, but not a lot. And this is the peak. Uh, four or five o'clock. I've got to keep the chance going into the early evening hours. But notice by the time we get to seven o'clock, even less than four or five o'clock. At this point, just a few stray showers still. And then by 11 o'clock this evening, once we get into the late evening hours, chance of rain going away through the overnight hours and yes, into early tomorrow morning. In fact, we'll probably be back to mostly sunny skies. But guess what? In the afternoon tomorrow, once again, the rain chance coming back. Now, I will say latest models saying a little bit drier air, a little bit lower humidity is going to be creeping in here. So the rain chance, even though today's rain chance isn't high, uh, tomorrow's rain chance even lower, but not quite, not quite a zero. So beginning the rain chance, just like today, about one o'clock in the afternoon, and notice the cloud cover increasing again uh, from the morning hours. Once again, the peak will probably be mid to late afternoon, three, four o'clock. But notice four o'clock tomorrow, not as much as four o'clock today. Yes, some activity, got to keep the chance in, but probably even less <laughs> we're going to be seeing today. Uh, temperatures, probably a repeat, you know, a little bit more of a northerly direction. So close to the lake, notice a little bit cooler, but I still think a lot of us will be uh, topping out low 80s, maybe a few more. Uh, in the upper 70s. Actually, it looks like less wind tomorrow than the day. Winds no more than uh, 10 miles per hour. And also, going with the same trend of less activity tomorrow than today, I think by 8 o'clock in the evening, just in time for Friday evening plans, all the stray showers fizzling out, so the activity winding down faster tomorrow uh, than today. And finally, before we wrap up, on this week's episode of the Across the Sky podcast, we're talking about climate change solutions. What can we do right now to slow down global warming and what challenges are we going to face in implementing those solutions? It was an interesting conversation we had with a climate scientist. So check out the podcast below this video or wherever you get your podcasts.